All right, head coach Trish Brown. Um, coach, obviously, gut wrenching. I don't know what the adjective is for it, but uh, that's just, a good one. <laughs> yeah, there's many. There. There's many. Um, just talk about. I mean, obviously, you guys down to a possession, and then yeah. you know, kid makes a play and a layup, and then I guess that's yeah. about it. Uh, you know, overall, I think that was the game we expected. New Haven's a uh, very talented team. Um, they have, you know, at both ends, they can score a clone Hayes, you know, she's the player of the year in our conference for a reason. Um, and they also defend and they made us work really, really hard for our shots tonight. Um, and you got to give them the credit. They, they played great and they made a play when, you know, in these games we talk about what's a big play and, and they came up with a big play at the end of the game to, uh, to get them the win. Um, you guys had um, had a three pointer, Amy Pelletier wiped out the board and that really kind of sparked them the illegal screen was called, and yeah. and then you know took a three pointer off the board, which I think would have given you a four point lead at the time, and then they kind of went on the run. Right. Just that obviously the turning point there. Yeah, it, it, that that certainly was a tough call for us, um, and and Amy knocked down the three, but you know it's possession by possession, and we needed to get a, a stop after that, and we um, gave up a couple good looks for them. Um, to go down by four, but uh, you know I'm so proud of my kids and how they battled back. Um, you know Paige Marshall hit a huge shot, and nobody worked harder defensively than Paige tonight. She was guarding Hayes for most of the game, and and you know that she's a scorer, but I thought Paige did a great job just making her work and challenging shots, and and then for her to come up with such a huge three at the end of the game, you, you got to give her so much credit for that. What was the, the plan there? What, 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 you guys, she gets the three, you guys get a big stop uh, you know, with the charge on the other end. Right. Um, were you expecting foul there, or, you know? Or? I, I was, you know, we had, uh, you know, probably 31, 33 seconds left. Um, I thought they would foul us, but, uh, you know, coming up, we had called a play. Obviously, I wanted to keep the ball in Kelly's hands um, and use some of the clock if we could. And they made a great decision, and they took a chance on, you know, um, making that last defensive stop. And, you know, not only did they do that, but they ended up getting a steal out of it. So, you know, it's, uh, our, our kids were poised, and they played so hard. It, it's hard to, to see the game end in that, that manner. But, you know, the team that goes to the Elite Eight is going to make big plays, and they made a big play defensively. Um, a big game from Tori inside, obviously, yeah. and the matchup with her and Hayes. Um, just talk about you know what she provided for you guys inside tonight. I think Tori's played the best basketball that she's played all year in this tournament. You know there was just a different confidence to her, and a, and a, you know it's that senior urgency. And she and Amy obviously had big nights the other night, but I think Tori, um, you know, showed it again tonight that she's she's certainly our go-to player. And and we were this was a really physical game and and i think that the refs let us play which is it was a great thing and i thought tori did a great job of of making shots and you know i, I think it, I, i'm always going to talk about my four seniors at this point because and I, I alluded to them the other night a little bit but those four kids in in very different roles you've got an ashley gendron who started the game on fire just doing all the little things you can't talk enough about her work ethic and she was rebounding the ball for us, really gave us a spark to start the game. Jamie Panton, you know, she's coming off the bench for us. The kid shows up every day in practice, works so hard, stays so committed. And then, of course, Amy and Tori, who are on the court more, you know, they're in the stat line. But the, the group, that, that four, their leadership this year really is the reason we're in this game. And, and you can't say enough about those four kids. Uh, I mean, you, you kind of stole my next question with Ashley. Just, I mean, huge for you guys. Yeah. I mean, I think they were obviously keying on Tori and Amy, you know, to, away, and it kind of left her out there. And she took, she, as we see her all along, right. will take advantage of that and really right. came through with huge rebounds early on. And you know, she's an undersized post player playing against, you know, their starting posts are big kids, you know, both over six foot and. Um, I thought she did a great job defensively, and she was boxing out and got us some big defensive rebounds, and you know, obviously knocked down a nice shot to start the game. But you know, she again, it's that that senior urgency you saw from all of them that you know really led us here. And you know, I'm just I'm like I said, you just love to see kids rewarded 
for the, the effort, the, the work ethic that they put in starting last spring. You know, they were determined to win a championship. We won the regular season championship. And, you know, we haven't been to this game in a while, and those guys got us here. So as, as hard as this is, and we just obviously just talked about it in the locker room, you, you got to, they need to be proud of what they've done this year. I don't know this is obviously it's tough to say goodbye to these seniors, but Kelly Martin, yeah. I know a strong tournament, for, a big weekend for her, and obviously it's the future of this program you right. know, with, with a lot coming back. So, I mean, let's talk about her and what you expect to see from her going forward. Yeah, and, and Kelly really is one of the other reasons that we are here. And, and if you watch the game tonight, you know that nobody's working harder on the court than Kelly is at both ends. And um, she really has come into her own at the point guard position. You know, what she started this year with was – you know, the work ethic that everybody needs to rise to, a competitiveness. Um, but what she's done this year, I think, to, to understand the point guard and understand the nuances of the position and being in that leadership role um, has really, you know, obviously got us to, to this game here. And, you know, she, she's just done such a great job. And um, it's very exciting to have her back for two more years. And, you know, one of the things I thought about this morning is Kelly Martin, I, re I really feel Kelly Martin will get our program to the Elite Eight before she graduates. She's, she's that good of a player and that competitive. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations on a really good, fun season to watch you guys and uh, it didn't end the way we wanted it to. But right. uh, congratulations on a great season. Thanks. And I just want to uh, thank all the fans for coming down. We had a phenomenal posse of not only parents and families, but, but a great group of uh, we had Stone Hill alum come over these three days. And I know. For those that had watched at the Hill tonight, we, uh, we really appreciate the support. Coach, thanks a lot.